Hello everybody, and this is Daisy, the Extreme Fairy Gamer, and today I'm going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Let's go on another Legend of Zelda quest. On a dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth! assault upon the surface people, frying the land into deep despair. They burnt forest to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. All this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace the goddess. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. And she sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. The goddess joined forces with the land rocks and rock evil forces, sealing the way. The goddess, at last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword HD. Mm-hmm. 
think Zelda sings pretty wonderfully. to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. Take time has- the time has come for you to awaken. Daisy. Get a rude awakening from the blue loft wing. <laughs> Thank you. Spat it in the face of me. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I guess this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Daisy. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it started. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <sighs> Mario looks pretty. Wait, hang on camera. <laughs> A blue ruby. Or five rubies. A long time since we played Skyward Sword. <laughs> Town of Skyloft. Up here. Yo. Good morning to you, Daisy. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? Yeah, yeah, win boxes, dash up, jump fairly easily.
Oh, you have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Private time, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Garupora, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there. Do you see her? The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes, and well, you see, will you help me and go retrieve Mia for me? Ooh. Fantastic. So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. Be able to climb up somewhere over there. Coming off the ledge, you could climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. You brought her back safe and safe. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Daisy. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. Not much, but please take this. Er, uh, don't tell the others. A red ruby worth 20 rubies. Just put it all in one place. No promises there. <laughs> A stamina fruit. Replenishes your stamina gauge. Glad to see my lockwing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. Sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Fire about it, and he says it's called Harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. Got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Daisy. So how do I look? Of course it'll be nice to Zelda. Huh, I think so too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Daisy. Ooh. Ah, 
There you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Daisy, you are here too. I'll stare at you. It's encouraging to see you up so early given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. <sighs> yes, about that. <sighs> Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Daisy hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his lofton, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skills of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as you point out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since we you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Daisy and his Lockwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Lockwing. The guardian birds that the goddess bestowed upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. Mm. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Daisy and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird came to him was a crimson lawful. It is a breed so rare we were sure that for some time that it had vanished from the land. Yes, the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Daisy and the, that loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Hmm. But something is amiss. <laughs> ah, but who can blame? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Daisy and his bird. Anyone who is part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Ho oh. ho. <sighs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Daisy doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Daisy messes up his big chance? What if he does not... What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Daisy. Listen, Daisy, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze a little practice time before the race. <sighs> Come on, you'll thank me later. Yeah, thank me for throwing me off the stinking land. Because the bird's not <laughs> around right now. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your left wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Hey. Okay, Daisy, go ahead. Press down and just call your loft wing. 
didn't even press anything yet. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. Hang in there, Daisy. I've got you. Ooh. Are you two all right? <sighs> I'm sorry, friend. I did not mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? <sighs> this is very odd, Daisy. What could have possibly happened to your lost one? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Daisy? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Daisy, when you said you couldn't sense your laugh one, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own laugh one, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. No, yeah, but we don't have time. The ceremony's supposed to start right now. Ooh, mm. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year instructor Horwell is pre <clears throat> excuse me, presiding over the ceremony. Daisy, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Daisy asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. <laughs> ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Daisy, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Poor Lockwing. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. Still owe you for helping me out early, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your law. Find it before too long. Okay. All Hit! <laughs>
kick his butt. <laughs> no, Cruz, that sure was a pain with what with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson lock wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> Whoa, Daisy, so, uh, yeah. Just how long have you been standing? I don't have to know that you fucking fudge and stole my bird yet, <laughs> butthead. <laughs> What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Goose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Goose doesn't do charity for whims. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> Do you think this tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Oh, we'll give him back or I'm gonna kick him. <clears throat> huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, strain up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. Uh -huh. And just who might be you be talking about, Bruce? Oh. oh. Zelda. Oh. Hey, not. Nah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Don't even try it, Bruce. You're picking on Daisy again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. No. Uh. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. Uh -huh. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you err. <laughs> oh, forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we out of here, boys. Later, Daisy. Hope you find your bird, or else you're going to have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failing. It's your special flavor. No, it's your special yeah. flavor, jerk. Stealing my bird and putting it in a pen. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Daisy, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skylots and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony. So don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Ah, 
All right. Hmm. He was here a minute ago. Perfect time. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge about what he knew, he started acting weird. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Daisy. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out, I told you. <sighs> it sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Gross and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there, and started talking about their plans to hide your Loftwing. I wanted to warn you, Daisy, but just as I tried to sneak away, Gross and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure that I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Gross and his buddies have a plan, have a, had a plan to capture a bird and hide him. Near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean. Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marks right here. With X. <sighs> Forgive me, Daisy. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Oh, if it's in the... Ooh. Hey, it's Daisy! Much run. I love the sound. Da, 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 the practice sword. Students use these swords at the academy. Fairly sharp sword. Ash. Okay. Yeah, let's 
try it. Well, it's also a fact of a well-placed spin attack. Don't stay down long, so you have to do it quickly before they get up. I need to go. Hey! Hey, Daisy! You can't take that sword outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Truth be told, we need to go to Waterfall and Waterfall Call of Monsters. What? Your loft wing is missing? You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swimming around crazy out there. I don't want to get into a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. I already practiced. Nice shortcut back My lap wing. Life-giving energy.
to call extremely sharp and painful to the touch. Hey Daisy, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you've gone searching for your, your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's the search going? Any sign of your lop wing? <sighs> oh no. Well, let's not give up hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Bruce and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry Daisy, I got distracted for a moment. Let's go! No doubt about it, that's your lock wound, Daisy. I have a little bud. I know. Half of it. There you go, little buddy. Put up a fight, didn't you? <laughs> you should hurry, Daisy. Now that your lock wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. <laughs> but before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe the whole world under there, far more fast than Skylock. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. Our lock wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help 
imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. Oh, just the word. <laughs> oh, sorry, Daisy. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. I don't know about you, Daisy, but your Lachlan looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Yes, that's very nice. Then I can beat the fudge out of Groose. <laughs> your Lachlan really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. Well, well, if it isn't Daisy. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. <sighs> All the pre-race warm-ups me and my guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delayed it for you? I don't get it. The big flight gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without the cell I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't you think we haven't noticed the smugglers? Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We're going everywhere together. Ugh. You think <laughs> you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Goose has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his papa door in a rustle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up that adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim the sale clause. When I heard she made herself a man, no way I was gonna let your scrawny clown, some scrawny clown, snatch the prize from me. Oh yes, that's sailcloth. 
sell itself off will be mine. Duh, huh, huh. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony getting it on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Gross! Gross! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you two see I'm the in the middle of <laughs> Duh. Mm -hmm. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> uh uh nothing big, really, just just Daisy, yeah, I was just telling my bud how you're how glad I was that he found the red bird of his boy. I am looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, ladies don't look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <gasps> hey, gross, what up? Did you hear that, Gary? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Daisy. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat. And deep down, I think you do too. That's the spear, Daisy. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like the race. It's race time. Good luck, Daisy. <coughs> hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we would have to proceed without Daisy, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I am glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the edge. Once you are in the air, Mount your loft wings. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear them again? No. Mm. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a special gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goss in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing this role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want a good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen. Line up! At my command, the competition will begin! Go!
Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard. Let's show him how you plow a thing in your face. Kiss me. Woo! Dang it. Missed. Oh, come on. I was almost there. I was almost there. First. your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this! This part of the ceremony. Uh, push off. <laughs> Daisy, hand me the bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant you who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways. I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Blessing of the Goths dripped down from the heavens a lot to sail, which I now pass on to you. <laughs> Jump at heights without fear of the painful landing. It smells nice, too. <sighs> Daisy, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they said the goddess gave the sail clock to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sail clock in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Daisy. 
Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Daisy. <laughs> now, you really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Sort of. <laughs> I'm glad you're so well informed on the site. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. Look down, see the big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press DR to open your sail cloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use the sail cloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> oh lord. Amazing, Daisy. <laughs> no, Daisy, seeing as you have one today, and with the weather being so nice. I think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Sure! was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Daisy, there's something I've been meaning to tell, talk to you about. What is that? <laughs> What's going on? Oh no! no. <laughs> ah, Daisy! to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Daisy. You're awake. Oh. When your Laughlin carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injury. For that much, we can be grateful. <sighs> but Daisy, 
Where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Sorry, sir, we couldn't save her. <laughs> A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Just talking about the service. I see. She was talking about the service. Then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Lothwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of the night. It would be also very dangerous. Rest down, Daisy. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. <sighs> There's more to this. Spirit of the Sword. Killed until night comes.
The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide my personal destination. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Daisy, you must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you used to hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My prediction indicates that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Yes, ma'am! The goddess sword, a serious sword bathed in divine light. Recognition complete. Master. Daisy, my master. Daisy. had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will awake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the of the bladed one, who is also youth and likeness yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah yes, the oral tradition, 
one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and unite the spirit man. shall bring Sorry for your inconvenience, folks. Ah. And unite the spirit man and shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Some of Fire's old texts talk about a place called the Service. The old tales describe the whole world below, far more vast than Skylar. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set for you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spearmen, main honorable Zelda. But this is no easy task, Dave. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. I'm all tired. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest. Sitting in this room was a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike.
darkness will open a path to the land of the Force. Master Daisy, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Ooh. Daisy, listen a moment. The nature of this, the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this spy says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you head heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Daisy, especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of a journey. Please, see it through and prove the legends true. You do your people proud, Daisy. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Daisy, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for the long journey. You better change before you go. green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a very long episode if I don't find a save point. Bitch, what do you want? That green uniform looks so adventurous. Sure, a night now. Headmaster said you were heading out to look for Zelda. You really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. It's a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. <laughs> ah yes, I forgot. The adventure powers store all kind of useful things. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can care fit four things in it that you will need on your big journey. You can buy all sorts of things at the bazaar. And pour, <laughs> look, potions and a shield fit in the pouch. It might come in handy on your adventure. Daisy, I just know you'll find something for us.
Ah! Violent! 